the grade 8 students. I am Mrs. Maritas Mondijo, your teacher in technology and livelihood education. Last session, we have discussed about the different sewing tools and materials. I know that you learned well and about the previous lesson. Today, we will discuss about the different types of sewing machine and its parts. But before that, let me present to you the objectives of this lesson. Today, we are going to identify the different sewing machines. Label the parts of a lock stitch sewing machines and appreciate the significance of knowing the types and parts of sewing machines. Knowing the types and basic parts of machine and how they work is an essential part of sewing. It enables us to properly use the machine and makes troubleshooting easier when problems in our lives. These are the types of the sewing machines. First, Laxtis sewing machine. This machine is used for using moves and sometimes in school. This is also called domestic sewing machine. It is run by foot and may also be converted to electric power machine. Next is the high speed black stitch sewing machine. This is sometimes called straight stitching machine or industrial sewing machine. It has automatic lubrication and is used by tailors and dressmakers. The next one is the over edging machine. Other companies call it small machine. It finishes the raw edges of the pattern for construction. Next is embroidery machine. This is used in making fancy stitches and making different kinds of embroidery stitches on fabrics for the Baroque Tagalog, pillow cases, linen, and other novelty items. The next one is the bottom puller machine. This is used in making bottom pulls on garments. Next, button attachment machine. This is used in attaching buttons to the garments. Double needle machine. This is used in the construction of the different kinds of lobby, especially for the inseam, outseam, and side seam. Bar tacking machine. This is used in reinforcing the opening and closing of packets. Now, let us discuss the parts of the lock stitch sewing machine. The first part, slide plate. Slide plate is a metal plate that covers the entry to the bobbin case. Next, needle. It is a sharp metal attached to the needle bar. It makes stitches by collecting the thread up from the bobbin and inserts this in its tiny hole. Throat plate. Throat plate holds the feed dog while sewing. Next, needle clamp. It holds the and tightens the needle. Thread guide. It helps maintain the downward flow of the thread and prevents lock formation due to the irregular change in speed while sewing. Next, press bar lifter. It is used to lift or lower the pressure bar. Next, stitch regulator. It adjusts the length and evenness of stitches. Presser foot. It holds the material in place while sewing. Thread take up lever. It releases the thread and interlocks with the body thread. Presser bar. It holds the presser foot. 
tension regulator. It controls the looseness and tightness of stitches. Face plate. It covers the oiling point on needle bar, presser bar, and take-up lever. Needle bar. A metal bar that holds the needle with the help of the needle block. Bobbin winder. It controls the bobbin while winding thread. Balance wheel. It initiates the operation of the machine. Next, spool pin. It holds the thread while sewing and is located on top of the machine. Rubber ring. The ring in the bobbin winder. It controls the winding of bobbin. Feed dog. It is a saw-like metal under the pressure foot which moves the fabric while sewing. Next is belt. It is a leather band that connects the balance wheel to the drive wheel. This is the upper parts of the sewing machine. It consists of three parts. First is the head. It is the complete sewing machine without a cabinet or stand. Arm, it is a curved part of the machine, of the head, containing mechanism for operating. And glass is bed, it is the flat portion of the machine, and beneath is the feed dog where it is mounted, and the shuttle and lower thread are placed. Next is the lower parts of lock stitch sewing machine. The first part is the band wheel. It leads the balance wheel through the belt connection. Next, band wheel clock. It moves the band wheel. Pitman rod. It holds the treadle to the band wheel clock. Next is the belt guide. It holds the belt to its place. Belt shifter. It removes the belt from the wheel. Dress guard. It protects the dress from the wheel. Treadle. It is where the feet are stationed to drive the back wheel through the feet manual. Legs, it support the cabinet of the machine. Cabinet, it holds the head of the machine by interlocking screw on the hinges. Now, let us have an activity. I want you to create an across bit and Write phrase or sentence about sewing machine. The sentence should start with a given letter. Example, S. S is for sewing. Sewing is fun and productive activity. This activity is entitled, Make Me. After answering this activity, I want you to submit your answer in our Google Classroom. Sewing is so rewarding chore that needs a lot of dedication and hard working to reach your potential as a sewer. There are many tools and equipment you can use to make your work faster and easier. Sewing machine is one of the most important equipment in dress making and familiarization in different parts of sewing machine is a vital rule to operate properly. That's all for today. I am confident that you learn a lot from today's lesson. See you on our next session. Thanks for watching.